Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Facial Mask. Today I definitely need a good facial mask on my skin since I'm going to be going out and I want to look radiant and glowing. I want to look younger and fresher later on. So I'm going to take you with me in the kitchen. I'm going to whip this facial mask up and I'm going to show you how I apply it to my skin. Now the benefit of this facial mask definitely is to tighten and firm the skin while getting rid of dark spots and blemishes. Now if you have hyperpigmentation on your skin such as acne scars and blemishes, blackheads and whitehead, this facial mask is good for that too now on my skin my skin is basically clear to an extent but because I use these things on my skin that's the reason why my skin is looking like this so for you out there if you're watching and you have all of that roughness and hyperpigmentation and wrinkles and all of that going on just give this facial mask a try you just never know so if you're interested in today's video just come with me I'll whip it up and I'll show you how I use it on my skin our first ingredient is potato and potato contain an ingredient called catechol lace which is great for getting rid of dark spots and blemishes on the skin potato will help to lighten and brighten the skin our second ingredient is also another wonderful ingredient that is known for clearing the skin of blemishes any form of hyperpigmentation on the skin the turmeric powder will help to clear it now turmeric powder is also great for getting rid of acne and pimples blackheads on the skin our next ingredient is lemon and lemon contains vitamin C vitamin C is great for nourishing the skin it helps to brighten and lighten the skin it helps to get rid of any form of a pigmentation such as blackheads and whiteheads and also vitamin C will help to plump the skin giving you a clean soft supple skin our final ingredient is coconut oil however you can use oil of your choice such as olive oil grapeseed oil or almond oil now the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna prepare the potato so I'm gonna peel my potato and here is the peeled potato next I'm gonna grate the potato to grate the potato just use a grater and here is the potato, so you just rub it on the grater like that. And here we have our grated potato. Next, we are going to strain our potato, so we're going to place this in a strainer. And then we're going to strain. We're getting rid of all the juice from the potato. So here is the potato juice and we're going to put this aside to set for a couple of minutes. Moving on to our lemon. We're going to cut our lemon in two halves and we're going to extract the juice. And here is our lemon and for this recipe I'm only going to use a half of the lemon so I'm going to juice the lemon. And here we have our lemon juice and now I'm just going to remove the seeds. Now here we have all the ingredients that we're going to use. We have our oil, which is our coconut oil. We have our lemon juice, potato juice, and turmeric powder. Now I'm going to put these together. So on to the next step, which is our potato juice. And here we have the potato juice and take a close look. There you could see the juice has settled. And on the bottom here, you have the potato starch. And let me show you, let me dig in, take it up, 
that's your potato starch right there and this is what we're going to be using look at it just melting on the spoon okay so in order to get rid of the top you can slowly pour it off or you can use a spoon to take off the juice and leave the starch which is what i'm going to be using so first i'm going to pour the top off slowly 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 pouring it off just take your time you do not want to pour off the starch just the water and once i get here then i'm going to dip in with my spoon and take out the remainder of the water just slowly sink the spoon in and take off as much as the water as possible leaving just the starch And this right here is the starch and this is what I'm going to be using. So, and look at the starch up front. See how thick or creamy. And this is about a tablespoon and a half of potato starch. So to our potato starch, I'm going to be adding the lemon juice. And I'm adding to this two teaspoons of lemon juice. Two teaspoons. And for our turmeric powder, I'm going to add a half of a teaspoon of turmeric powder. A half of a teaspoon. And we're adding it to the lemon and the potato starch. Next, reaching for the coconut oil. I'm using a half of a teaspoon of our coconut oil. Just a half a teaspoon. We're pouring that in. And now we're just going to mix this together and mix well. So just blend the ingredient together. And it's going to look something like this. So just keep blending. Now once you finish blending this, you're going to place this in the refrigerator for about an hour. We're placing this in the refrigerator because cold potato is known to help to get rid of spots and blemishes even faster than at room temperature. So we're going to put this in the refrigerator about an hour to cool it down and then we're going to apply it to the skin. Okay. So here is your mask and I've already gone and applied some of this mask. Now to apply the mask, I'm going to use a brush and I'm not going to brush this on like I normally do like this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to dig in and I'm just going to apply it as if I'm really brushing the skin. So you want to just rub it on your skin like this. If you're using a brush or a cotton, whatever your application is, you're just going to rub it on the skin like you're exfoliating the skin. This is a very thin mask. So this application works best with this mask. So just rub the mask on your skin as if you're applying foundation rub it all over the skin in circular motion just rub it like i'm showing here and once this is done your skin is going to look like this then you're going to sit with this for 30 minutes now why do i suggest sitting with this for 30 minutes because it takes time for the treatment to work on the skin if you apply it to the skin and you just rinse off you're not going to get the full benefit so you need at least 30 minutes to get some form of a benefit from the treatment and as usual i often said if you have more time sit with it for longer to further reap more benefit from the facial mask now if you notice a sheen on my forehead that's because i'm using the coconut oil in this and omg just check this out you could definitely see this basically instantly lightening my skin my skin is looking awesome underneath this facial mask right now so i'm gonna sit a little longer and then i'm gonna be back with the result now for your leftovers store this in the refrigerator for about seven to ten days Now take a look at this. After 30 minutes, this mask is totally dry on my skin. Totally, totally dry. Feels really good though. So now I'm going to rinse this off with some warm water 
and I will be back with the result. So I'm back and my skin is feeling really soft and supple and I like to wake my skin up a bit. You can also practice to do that. So next you're gonna move on to your facial toner. Just spritz some facial toner if you have that. If not, move on to your serum. If you don't have serum, move on to your moisturizer. Once you get to your moisturizer, you're gonna make sure to do a little facial massage and I recommend that each time you apply your moisturizer just do a one or a two minute facial massage and you are good to go so just massage the moisturizer in the skin and that's gonna further enhance the skin it's gonna leave your skin just soft supple and radiant you want to use this facial mask at least twice per week for best result and before you know it you are on your way to a younger looking you so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up now share the video and leave your comments and if this was the first time watching look below you're gonna see the word subscribe click on it and you will be subscribed also guys i have a show sunday chit chat with chichi beauty every sunday 4 30 p.m eastern standard time now for this show we talk about the topic we discuss things you ask questions and we have a wonderful app an hour so don't miss Sunday Chit Chat, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.